Now, here I'm giving you two because that you will only get one. The sketch, you get the tables, page 75, you get the logic diagram, page 77. And then I say, this is the information given, and then you must calculate if the total length of welding must be the same or just less, or must be the same or just more than the original, you must calculate C51 preset, T43 preset, and the job type. Now, let's just look at the logic first again. The logic of this machine. If I press the start button, Then, the cylinder is moving down. So that is this here, for the cylinder to move down. Then it's going to touch switch 2. If it touches switch 2, it's going to do welding. What determines how long it is welding? T41. If you look in the tables, you will see T41 is the weld timer for how long it is welding. When it's finished welding, what happens? It goes up. Cylinder moves up. That is this information here. Then it's going to touch switch 1. When it touches switch 1, it must check how many wells was made already. Am I done? So it asks a question here. Yeah, done. How will it know when it's done? When the counter has reached the counter preset value. So this question is about C5. One. Done. Is that done? That means has it made so many welds. If the answer is no, then it repeats. But it moves the motor forward. And that is done by T42. If the answer is yes, it is finished, then the motor must move back. 
and that is done by T43. There is the whole logic. Now, before we can start with any of those calculations, let's just see what is the effect of the changes. If I change T for 1, what am I changing? I'm changing the time that it stays at a point welding. That is what I'm changing there, right? How long does it stay at that point welding? Where, when will it add one on the accumulator of the, of the uh, counter? If you look in the drawing, you will see every time when this weld is finished. This is where it will say plus one on C51. Accumulator. This is where it is increasing. That is how it counts. Number of welds. If I change this value, what does this value represent? T41. It represents the time between wells, that time, isn't it? Now, in the original one, that was 180. That means it was 1,8 seconds between wells. Now, I'm making it a lot shorter. I make it 95 from 180. So that's going to be 0 0.95 seconds between welds. So it means the welds are going to be much closer together there. Isn't it? It's going to be much closer together. Do you agree? <laughs> but the question says, that the total length of welding must be the same or just less. So I must end up around there, just less or just more. I must end up covering the original length. So I'm going to make more welds. What is determining the number of welds? This. C51 preset. This value is the number of wells. This one is the return. The return time. So we must first calculate how many welds must I do now? What is the new number of welds? But before you can do the calculation of the new number of welds, you first need to know what was the original. Where do you get the original from? There was five welds. That is the calculation we did yesterday. The original time The original time was equal to 0 0,01 times 180 times 5 minus 1. Where do I get that from? Where do I get that from? 
You get it from the diagram. That is the forward type T41. Oh, sorry, T42. T42, the tie base and the preset. And that is C51 preset. The original value that is on the drawing. Okay. Now watch it people, the drawing may not be the one exactly like it is in the book. It will be the same as drawing, but the values on the drawing can be different. That doesn't have to be a 5. It can be a 6 or a 7 or a 4. So you must check on the drawing what is the original. So that is then 1,8 times 4 that is 7, 2 seconds. That is the original. Now we're going to say, right, what is the new number of wells? Because I'm making this shorter, you agree that I must make more wells. How many wells must I make? I don't know. I've got to calculate it. So let us start by saying new number of wells. equals x. Okay? You okay? What is the time between wells? Wells. What determines that? T42. So the change value is what? 0, 0,01 times 95. That is 0, 0,95 seconds. That is now the new time between wells. So what is the total time? Total time is one. The time between wells multiplied by the number of times is going forward. And that is that minus 1. So it is 0, 0,95 times x minus 1. Why minus 1? Because the last time it doesn't go forward, it goes back. We discussed it yesterday. So if I multiply that out, it becomes 0, 0,95 x minus 0, 0,95. That is the total time. Okay? Now, 
There are two possibilities. The question says that the total length or time of the world must be the same or just less. Let's first handle that if that was the question. If it said just less, let me first handle the just less answer. Then I will handle the just more answer. What was the original time? 7,2. What is the new time? That one. So this new time must be equal to or just smaller than that. So that means 0,95x minus 0, 0,95 must be smaller or equal to 7,2. Therefore, 0,95x must be smaller or equal to 8,15. So x must be smaller or equal to 8,15 divided by 0,95, which is smaller or equal to what? Calculators. What is 8,15 divided by 0, 0,95? 0, 8,61. So what is x? What must X be? Can I make half a cut? Can I move it half a distance? No. I can only move it one, two, three, four, five, six times. I cannot move it five comma two five times. So that value must be a whole number, an integer number. So what is it? Nine. Huh? Nine. Nine. Is nine smaller or equal to eight comma six one? Huh? Is 9 smaller than 8,61? But they are saying it must be smaller or equal. Ah. Huh? So what must x be? 8. So that is the new preset value. So that is C5 colon 1 preset. So that is this answer. It's eight. Now what is this one? That one is the total time, the return time, which is the total time. What is the total time? Ah, there is a formula for the total time. Isn't it? So total time is equal to 0, 0,95 times 8 minus 0, 0,95 What is that people? What is 0, 0,95 times 8 minus 0, 0,95? Huh? 6, 6,65. That is 6,65. So that means T43 preset 
is equal to 6,65 divided by 0, 0,01. Why divided by 0, 0,01? Because that is the time base. And that gives me 665. Check. What was it? It was 720. So this is smaller than 720. So it's correct. Lastly, the job time. What is the job time? It must move up. What is the up time? 1 comma 1. Times how many? How many times is it going to move up? Uh, sorry, that's a down time. Down time. Eight. How many times is it going to move down? Huh? Eight. Eight times. Seconds. The up time. Every time it moves up is 1,2. How many times is it going to move up? Seven. Eight times. Eight. Nine comma six seconds. The well time. Where do I get that? Yeah. So that is 0, 0,01 times 160. That is 1,6 seconds for every weld. So it is going to make Use 1,6 seconds to make a weld, and how many welds is it making? Eight welds. That is 88 plus 48, it's 12,8. 12,8 seconds. Then it must move forward. What is the forward time? Ah, oh, people, there it is. 6,65 seconds. Then it must move back. How long is it going to move back? 6,65 seconds. Job time. 10. 7, 13, 21, 29, 35. 11, 20, 32, 38, 14, 44,5 seconds. There is the job time. That is if the question says less. What happens if the question says more? What is the answer then? <laughs> if the question says more, that is still the same, but now it is more. So it is 0, 0,95x 
minus 0, 0,95 must be bigger or equal to the original 7,2. So 0, 0,95x must be bigger than 8,15. So what is X? X is bigger or equal to that divided by 8,15 divided by that that is bigger than 8,61. So what is X? Now it's nine. Now x is 9. That is that C5 colon 1 preset. So that is that answer. Then we do the same calculation. Total time. Yes. 0, 0,95 times 9 minus 0, 0,95 which is what? Calculate quickly what is that total time? Seven comma. 7,6 7, 6 seconds therefore T4 3 preset <coughs> is 760 then we must calculate the job type Again, it must go down. Down is 1,1. One, one. How many times? Nine times. 9,9 nine nine seconds. It must move up. How many times? 1,2 times 9. That is 10,8. Seconds. It must weld. How much is the welding time? The weld time is again that one comma six seconds times nine. It's fifty four. 14,4 Then it must move forward What is the forward time? 7,6 seconds What is the reverse time? 7,6 seconds If we add this together that gives me the job time that is 10 plus 17 is 27, it's 33, 3 and over, it's 12, 22, 20, 36, plus 14 is uh, 50, 50,3 seconds. Check, this 760 is bigger than the original 720.
It must be just less than the original. Then I want that answer. If you give me both, I'm going to take this answer and mark it wrong. I'm not going to look at that one. Well, I'm going to choose the wrong one. <laughs> So you're going to give me one answer because the question will not say less at all. The question will say just less or the question will say just more. Give me the appropriate answer. If you give me both, I'm choosing the wrong one and give you the other. Any questions? This is typically the question you will expect in the exam. Any questions? 